Ricky. What's going on, y'all? So in this video, I want to, well, get a little bit punched out from my face. As you can see, I have my expert camera crew here with me in the hotel, spoken a phone app. In this video, I want to talk about how to get prepared for a Fondo. So first, what is a Grand Fondo? The direct translation is big ride. So the term was coined in the 1970s, of course, in Italy. And here in the US, there is no official governing body of the Fondos, unlike over in Europe. But the Italian rules state that a Grand Fondo is a ride 120 kilometers or more. So I guess I haven't gone on any Grand Fondos because uh, the longest one I went on was the Tour de Foothills and that was 64 miles. So we'll just call them Fondos. I may use this term interchangeably. Don't beat me up in the comments too much below. But if you have some insight about Fondos, please do leave that in the comment section below. So let's go down to the garage and go over the things that I use to get ready for Fondo season. Welcome to the Pain Cave. We got Critwit over here, just wrapped up shooting a video for his channel, but I wanna to talk to you guys about what you need to go on a Fondo. Push those out of the way and go right on to something I do know, food. So we're back with the Pro Bars. Really like these. These are what I used when I climb Mount Palomar. You can check that video out. But this is a gel from SIS. This is one of their uh, isotonic gels. So that means that you don't have to drink water with it. Should you? Probably, so I will. So I like these. These were the little snacks that I use on Mount Palomar as well. These little jobbies here, the Ritual Energies, are uh, made with almonds and toasted coconut, and they're made with green coffee. So some of that quick pick-me-up energy. If you notice, there is a theme here with the things that I choose to bring. If I tried and I liked it, I'm probably gonna use it again. If you saw some items in previous videos that you don't see now, it's probably because I don't like them except for the Vela Forte stuff, because the lead time is just prohibitive for going on a ride next week. So had to go without those. So I have decided to join the tubeless revolution. And uh, I got the 5000s in the tubeless variant. That's what the TL is for right here. So you guys know I'm not that mechanically inclined, so we're probably not the best idea to install them myself. So we're gonna take these and, uh, well, the rest of my wheels over to two wheels and get Memo to help us out with that. alcohol on the inside of the rim. So I'm gonna clean it off, make sure there's no residue where the uh, tubeless tape is going to adhere to the surface of the rim. On this wheel, I'm just clean off any residue. See, I'm not, it's nicely pressed and formed to the rim. Got nice seats. squeeze the fluid into the uh, tire, the fluid comes from the syringe into the valve and then goes down into the tire. I'm going to say it again. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm making it look easy because I've done it before, but like I said, I took the steps necessary, cleaned the rim, put the tape down to make sure that the tape adhered properly to the rim, pressed it in place with the inner tube an old tire, waited a little bit of time, made sure it adhered properly and formed fu fully to the rim. And then when it was finally ready, then we installed the valves and the tubeless tire, pre-inflated it before adding solution to make sure the tire beat it up and sat in place or else you uh, guaranteed a mess. 
And once we confirmed that the tire beat it up nicely and was holding pressure, then I removed the valve core and installed the sealant. And that was it, without making a mess. Now go ride. Yes. So since I decided to go tubeless, tubeless has a different kind of solution for flat. I brought Goop along for the Mount Palomar video. And uh, thankfully I didn't have to use it. So this is Goop 2.0, same liquid, but it just changed the container. So now you can measure it out. It has this little tube on it. And I got a, a cute little holder to mount the goop on my seat post. In addition to that, of course, we're gonna have tubes and CO2 because, well, you're a dummy if you don't bring it. Me, me. So, I caught up with them after, uh, I was moving to get over here. I think I might have even got a PR. We'll see when I take a look on Strava, but I'm here. Nice little ride to get me ready for tour the foothills tomorrow. So now I gotta go home and uh, deal with uh, that whole moving thing. So as always, we got those Hey Monty t-shirts, the Monty Ride bike shirts, link below. And um, I just wrapped up my Fondo prep video. And well, I just finished editing it. I just want to thank my man Prince for blessing me with a team cycling royalty shirt. Thank you and thank you for coming out and riding with us out here in California. Looking forward to getting out to the East Coast. And uh, man, I'm running errands, getting ice, getting a drink and continuing to plug away on this route planning and uh, getting ready to get up out of here. If you want to follow the cross country journey, you can Check that out by clicking the link below. That'll take you to my other YouTube channel, Hey Monty. That was my prep for going on a Fondo. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, I look forward to seeing you guys next video.